multiplication of fractions. Good day students and welcome back to my classroom. Today, you will learn how to multiply fractions with or without regrouping. Let us start. Let us try this first example. 1 fourth times 2 thirds. In multiplying fraction, it is very easy. You just need to simply multiply numerator and denominators. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 3 is 12. And then, let us simplify our answer. The common factor of 2 and 12 is 2. 2 divided by, by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Therefore, our final answer is 1, 6. Great job! It is so easy, right? Now, I will show you another method that you will love. It is cancellation method. In cancellation method, instead of simplifying our final answer, we are going to simplify the fractions inside the problem. Meaning, we are going to look for a numerator and a denominator which have common factor. Here, we can see that 2 and 4 have common factor of 2. Therefore, we can divide each of them by 2. 4 divided by, by 2 is 2. While 2 divided by, by 2 is 1. Can you still see another numerator and denominator that have common factor? No more. Now, we can multiply the numerators and denominators. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Now, our answer is 1, 6. Awesome! Now, let us try another example. 4 fifths times 1, 6. 4 times 1 is 4. 5 times 6 is 30. Now, let's simplify our answer. 4 and 30 can be divided by its common factor, 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 30 divided by, by 2 is 15. Our final answer is 2 fifteenths. Now let us try cancellation method. 2 can you find a numerator and denominator which have common factor? Very good! 4 and 6 have common factor of 2. Now let us divide them by 2. 6 divided by, by 2 is 3. While 4 divided by, by 2 is 2. Now let's multiply them. 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times 3 is 15. Now we got the same answer. Now this time, we are going to multiply mixed numbers. In multiplying mixed numbers, we need to change them into improper fraction. Hmm. But how are we going to change mixed number into improper fraction? Let's have a quick review. To change mixed number into improper fraction, we multiply denominator to the whole number. 4 times 1 is 4. And then add it into the numerator. Plus 3 is 7. And then we simply copy the denominator 4. Now 1 and 3 fourths is equivalent to improper fraction 7 fourths. Alright, now let's go back. Let's change each mixed number into improper fraction. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4. Next, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2. Now we can multiply them. 
7 times 5 is 35. 4 times 2 is 8. Now look, our answer is in its improper form. We are going to simplify it by converting it into a mixed number. 35 divided by 8. 4. 4 times 8, 32. 35 minus 32 is 3. Now, our answer is 4 and 3 eighths. Now, let's have another example. First step, change the mixed numbers into improper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 over 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. Copy the denominator, 5. Now let us multiply. 4 times 7 is 28. 3 times 5 is 15. Since it is an improper fraction, we need to change it into mixed number. 28 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 15 is 15. 28 minus 15 is 13. Now our final answer is 1 and 13 fifteenths. Awesome! Now, let us multiply fraction into whole number. In multiplying fraction and a whole number, we are going to put 1 as the denominator of the whole number. And then, simply multiply them. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. And that is our final answer. Let's have another example. 3 times 2 sevenths. Again, let us put 1 as the denominator of 3. Now let us multiply them. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 7 is 7. Since it is in its simplest form, this is now our final answer. Great job students! You made it! Here are now the things that you learned today.